Hey guys, Richard Holdner here. Here's a question for all the LS guys. Who wants more torque? Actually, that might not be the right question. Every LS guy wants more torque. The question is, is that even the right question? In this video, we're gonna answer a number of different questions. The first and most obvious one is, do you want more torque? And the answer to that is always yes. But the next question is, how do I get more torque? Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we get more torque with cam timing and so if you ask anybody hey how do i get more torque well the obvious answer is put a small mild camshaft in it because as everybody knows a small mild camshaft makes more torque than a bigger wilder camshaft the reality is that might not be the reality sometimes the bigger cam makes more torque the question isn't which one makes more torque the question is where does it make more torque let's find out before we get to our data i want you guys to check out a couple things i have up on the channel. First of all, I've got playlists for any different engine family. I've got lots of LS stuff, including NA and turbocharged stuff. And I have those broken down for small block Chevy, big block Chevy, Hemi, modular Ford, Honda. There's turbo stuff, blower stuff, nitro stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. So anything that you're looking for, including the other guys where I run the Buick and the Cadillac and the 4.3 liter small little LT1 stuff. So check all that stuff out. But I wanted to cover five different videos that I want you guys to take a look at because I thought that they were really cool and they deserve a second look. The first one is how to maximize power out of your six liter. So check out that video. I'm going to put a link up right here. If you want to know how to modify your six liter and how to get maximum power out of it, check out that video. Video number two is a comparison between a 5.3 liter LS and a 5.4 liter four valve modular Ford, both NA and boosted. So good stuff. So which one's better, the 5.3 or the 5.4? Check it out. That video is going to be right here. The third video I want you to take a look at is how to cure low oil pressure on my particular my particular vehicle, which was a 2002 Silverado. The oil pressure started getting low. So check out what happened and what I went through to try to cure the low oil pressure blues. That video is going to be right here. Number four, we're gonna take a look at on my five liter Ford guys, would you rather modify your five liter 302 or maybe swap something else into it like a 351? Hard choice, but that video is right here. And the final one, number five, is going to be my turbo test. It is a low buck, cheap turbo test run on a K24 A2 Honda motor. So I ran a variety of different turbos. You can check out all of that stuff right here. Now let's get to those results. To further illustrate what these cams do, let's take a look at a couple of other cams also run on a six liter LY6. This is kind of my go-to you know, test motor and the six liter that I had is running good. We use this for the big bang stuff, we use it for a lot of stuff. But here it is again with our stock LQ4 or LQ9 camshaft. <laughs> I'll go ahead and put the specs up here again. It made 442.7 horsepower and 467.2 foot pounds. But let's see what happens when we ran a stock LS3 camshaft on it. And this is what we call, what we refer to as rocking the curve. So what happens is we take the curve and we just shift it this way. And what that does is it adds more power on the top, but when you shift it that way, you also reduce the torque down low. So we look at the torque numbers. This thing made 400 and... 69 foot pounds and then with the ls3 camshaft made 469 foot pounds so the peak torque number were was almost identical between these two camshafts so at what point do you go okay i want more torque okay well these made the same torque but they're not the same curve. So once again, below the torque peak, the, the milder cam, the LQ4 or LQ9 cam, made more low speed power. And that's pretty typical of the LS3, the LS2, the LS1, to a lesser extent, certainly the LS9. All of those cams compared to the truck cams will make more power on the top, but they'll usually sacrifice low speed torque down low, despite the fact that, as we saw, they make the same peak torque number. So again, when you're talking about torque, you have to be basically specific on where you want that torque production. 
it would be nice to have <laughs> our torque peak like extend all the way back so that we were making 450 foot pounds of torque at 2500 rpm but here's the thing to understand there's no camshaft that's going to do that <laughs> a camshaft will not allow you to make to add 40 50 60 foot pounds of torque down at the low rpm ranges it's just not there even if we sacrifice a bunch up at the top you can't do that with cam time. You'll have to do that with other things like intake manifold or compression. Displacement helps obviously a lot. And to some extent, headers help will help a little bit too, but not, not in the way that these other things will. So let's take a look at another example here. We offered the, uh, we ran this test on a sloppy stage two. This one was from TFS, but it was a sloppy stage two cam. I'll go ahead and put the spec specs up here. And this is an interesting thing. This cam, if you look at the specs, is much bigger than the other cams, bigger than the stock LQ4, LQ9 cam, bigger than the LS3 cam. And yet, not only does it have more peak power, I mean, it made 513.7 horsepower, but it made more torque. It made 493 foot-pounds of torque. So it did very well in the torque department, and it even made more torque down low. So this theory that a lot of guys have, so I'm going to put a small cam, and it's going to make, you know, it's going to make all the torque that they think that they can get pre- torque peak extra torque from having a small cam and the reality is that if you put more camshaft in it and obviously the right camshaft you're going to add torque now let's look at this camshaft in comparison to a bigger cam and find out what happens to the torque curve on that so this is our 459 cam and i'll go ahead and put the specs up on the 459 cam you can see it's bigger on the intake duration which is kind of the critical element at least for me but it also has um, a bigger split intake to exhaust than that sloppy stage two or the TFS cam had. But again, interesting thing. Even with this bigger 231 cam, it made basically 492 foot pounds. So it had the same peak torque as the 228 sloppy cam did. But again, like the comparison between the stock LQ4, LQ9 cam and the LS3 cam, the, slop, the smaller sloppy stage two cam made more torque below the torque peak. So it had it's it's the milder cam made more torque below the torque peak, but then sacrificed power out at the top with the bigger cam with this 231 cam. It made 541 horsepower and 492 foot pounds. So it definitely made more power on the top end than the smaller cam, but made less torque. But even though they made the same peak torque. So when you're talking about the torque that you want from a camshaft, you got to be very specific. Is it, do I want more peak torque? Do I want more torque below the torque peak? Do I want more torque above the torque peak? What is it you're talking about? And if you're trying to get more torque at 2000 RPM with a camshaft, I say this to you, good luck. Let's get to our conclusion. Okay, guys, let's talk about torque. Everybody seems to want more torque in their tow motors or their trucks or any kind of application, especially something mild. And the common consensus seems to be this. If I put a small, milder camshaft in it, it's going to make a lot more torque. And I think that everybody has this misconception because I think what they think is going to happen, especially if you look at the from the torque peak and below to where we're starting our load on these engine dynos, you could also do it on a chassis dyno or on the street. But what guys think is that if I put this mild cam in, it's going to have a whole bunch of low speed torque. Now, everybody knows that if you put a mild cam in, it's going to sacrifice power up top. But they seem to be confused about what else is actually going to happen. So if we can show that graphically, people, I think, will have a better understanding of what's going on. So right now we have, and, and this would work on a 4.8 or a 5.3, but this particular test motor was a 6 liter. And it was an LY6, but it would work the same on an LQ4 or LQ9. So this was a, a rec port headed LY6. It had valve springs in it. It had the stock intake. We put a manual throttle body on it. It had inch and 7 eighths long tube headers. And what we did in this test is I tested... All of the, these were early versions of the Brian Tooley Racing uh, Stage 1, 2, and 3 truck cams. So what I wanted to show is not so much what kind of power the truck cams gain, because they have newer versions that are even better now, but I wanted to show you what's happening to torque production so we can get an idea when we change cam timing and put wilder cam timing in, what actually happens to the torque, and it's it's not what people think. <laughs> so this is our, this is run with a, we took the VVT cam out of the LY6 and replaced it with what I think is the six liter LQ4 cam from an early LQ4. 
I think that this came out of Chad Reynolds' uh, iron-headed LK4, if I remember right, which would mean it would be the same as an LM7. I'm going to go ahead and put the specs up on the earlier 6-liter uh, cam, which is the same as the LM7, and then the later version, which would be an approved version. It doesn't really matter for this test because we're just starting out with this as a baseline with this camshaft, and then we'll show you what happens when we put all of these truck cams in. But run with this mild stock cam. It made 442.7 horsepower and important for our dis discussion, 467 foot pounds. And let's take a look and see what happened. This is the stage one cam from Brian Tooley Racing. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here so you guys can take a look at what those specs are. But what I want you to look at is basically the torque production. So this thing managed to make a little bit more torque than the factory cam above 20 six or 700 RPM, not a lot more, but more. And so the peak torque was up to 479.5, you know, 480 foot pounds. Peak power was up to 473.8 horsepower. So it had some nice gains. But one of the things that people think about is that, like I said, well, I'm gonna make, I wanna put a mild cam in, it's gonna make a lot more torque. As we can see, this didn't make a lot more torque, <laughs> especially below the torque peak. Now it made more at the peak, but didn't make a ton more torque in the area from where we started the load all the way up to the torque peak. And the, the truck cam is a good upgrade for the stock cam because you can see it adds power everywhere, especially the stage one. The stage two on a six liter might be even better. And I'm gonna show you that. But what I wanna show you is what happens to the torque curve when we add these successfully or successively bigger cams. So this is a stage two cam in red and the stage two cam makes a lot more power than the stage one on this six liter. Peak power was all the way up to 493.8, so 494 horsepower. But what I want you to notice is it did carry the torque curve out a little bit farther but peak torque was 482.5 foot pounds. So we're talking about a difference of two foot pounds between the two camshafts and you can see below the the peak torque for most of the curve the stage one and the stage two made identical power curves identical torque curves so there wasn't a big gain in torque from either the smaller cam or the larger cam both of them are a little bit better than the stock cam where we see the difference between these two cams and when i show you the stage through it will be even more dramatic but is down here below 3000 rpm so if you're looking for a camshaft that would be, you know, torquey like and responsive, getting in the throttle when you're cruising on the freeway um, without dropping down a gear, the smaller cam is definitely going to be a little bit better there. But it doesn't make more peak torque. It doesn't make more torque through most of the RPM range. And only above the um, peak torque where it starts to where we start looking at horsepower is there a big difference between the stage one and the stage two and between the stage one and the stock cam as well so let's take a look at the stage three and as we would expect the stage three and i'll, I'll go, go ahead and put all of the specs up here as i always do the stage three offered more peak power it was up over 500 horsepower 504 horsepower but again look at the torque peak in the green compared to the red, the torque or the torque curves are almost identical until you get past the torque peak. They the the stage three cam made for 482 foot pounds, so basically the same peak. Where we see a big difference between the stage two and the stage three is below the torque peak. It's you can see here in red, it made less torque than either the stage one or the stage two, um, all the way you know, through all of the rest of the RPM range below 4,300 RPM. And down here in the important range for crews and things like that, it made a lot less torque than either the stage one or the stage two, and even less than the stock cam. So this is the trade-off that's inherent in going with wilder cam timing. Yeah, you make more power. And if that's important to you all the way out at between 5,000 and 6,500 and you're, you know, revving the thing out and you like the power and maybe you like the sound, that's fantastic. But just know going in that there's not going to be a big change in peak torque and there might be a slight drop in low speed torque when you go to some of these bigger cams. So let's take a look at another example on another six liter of even bigger camshafts. Okay guys, what do we learn from our torque talk? Well, the first thing we learned is we kind of need to be specific about where we want our torque production. 
As we saw from the variety of different camshafts run on our 6 liter, some of them made the same peak torque but just shifted to other places in the curve. So do you want more top end? Do you want more bottom end? Do you want more torque production down below 2000 RPM, which is going to be kind of difficult to get with just cam timing as we saw. But depending on where you want your torque, that question is every bit as important as how much extra torque I want. Because as we saw from the cam timing, some of them made more top end, some of them made more bottom end, some of them had the same in the middle, but you had to be very specific about the other parts of the curve. So when you're talking about torque, make sure you tell us where you want that torque to actually improve. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and choose your cams wisely.